thank you for joining us today for another Green Pastures devotional. Today I want to look at the topic of contentment. I heard this story um, a while back about a man and his employer and they were having this deep conversation about life. And the man says to him, his employer, I really think I would be content if I had a thousand pounds in my bank account. And his employer said to him, you know, I'm going to be honest, I've never really found contentment in my money or my wealth. But he says, I'll tell you what. And he reaches into his pocket. He brings out his checkbook and he writes this man a check for a thousand pounds. And as soon as he walks out the door, the man says to himself, oh, if I had only asked for two thousand pounds. <laughs> it's funny and we can think, we can laugh at that man, but actually it really highlights what we're like and what our human nature is like. We're always thinking, oh, I would be content if I had more. I'd be content if I had more money. I'd be content if I had a bigger house. I'd be content if I was married. I would be content if I had kids. But it goes on and on and on and we keep searching because you guess what? We do not find contentment in things. We do not find contentment in great circumstances. No, we really find contentment in Christ. I want to look at what the Apostle Paul teaches us about contentment this morning. If we're reading here from Philippians chapter 4 verse 11, and Paul says this, he says, For I have learned to be content. I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret. He says that word learned again. I have learned the secret of being content in every and every situation. I love that. In any and every situation. Whether well fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or in want. Whether living in lockdown or not. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. One thing I want to pull straight out of this is that word learned. You see, Paul is showing us that contentment is not something we are born with. It's not a disposition or a personality trait. It's not related to the circumstances around us. But being content is a choice. It's a decision we have to make. You know, right before Paul talks about this, he gives away in his letter to the Philippians three keys to being content. Three keys to being content. Here's the first thing he says. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Not sometimes, not when life is going great. Rejoice in the Lord always. You see, joy is a choice. Joy is a choice. You know, sometimes people can look on at your life and think, how can she be joyful right now with everything that's going on? But you see, joy is a choice and God gives us the grace to be joyful. I actually did a little bit of digging here and I thought it was pretty cool that the root word for rejoice here is the same root word that is used for the word grace. You might feel like you have nothing to be joyful for today, but let me encourage you that Jesus died on the cross for you so that you could have life and life in abundance. If, you, if there is nothing else to be joyful for today, you can rejoice in that. Rejoice in the Lord. That's key one, to rejoice in the Lord always. The second thing he says is, do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. I don't know about you, but there is so much that we could be anxious about right now. There are so many worries and fears coming against us. But Paul says, don't be anxious about anything, nothing. But in every situation, by prayer, petition and thanksgiving, present your requests to God. In other words, hand it over and keep handing it over. And then, this is what it says, and I love this. Then peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ, Christ Jesus. The definition of contentment is to be living in a peaceful state, to be fully satisfied. 
This is saying here, when we hand everything over to God in prayer and petition with thanksgiving, then we get that peace that surpasses all understanding. It is so easy to keep picking up worry, to keep picking up fear, but you need to keep handing it back to God. Hand your worries over, hand your fears and your anxieties. Don't be anxious about anything. Instead, hand it over to God, knowing that he is able to give you peace in return. Isn't that amazing that we take our cares and worries and we give it to God and in exchange, he gives us peace, supernatural peace, that the world would look on and think, how can they be feeling like that right now? But it's supernatural peace from God. So firstly, Paul tells us to rejoice always. Secondly, he says, hand it over. And thirdly, and I love this, I'm going to re read this bit from the message version. And it says this, summing it all up, friends, I'd say you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the things that are beautiful, not ugly, things to praise, not to curse. I love that. Fill your minds. What are we filling our minds with right now? Is it what's on the news? Is it all the fear and worry that's going on on Instagram right now? Or are we filling our minds with what is true, what is noble, what is reputable? Are we focusing on the best and not the worst? I want to encourage you today to be someone who pulls out the best in every situation. Let's not be a Debbie Downer right now. There's, there's enough of those. Let's choose to see the best in every situation, to not focus on all the hard things and all the negative things that are going on, but to look at the best and bring out the best in every situation. Paul tells us, firstly, rejoice. Secondly, he says, hand it over to God. And thirdly, he says, fill your minds with the best and not the worst. You know, Paul says, after he talks about contentment, he says, I can do this all through Christ who gives me strength. It is hard to choose contentment. Don't be, um, don't be discouraged today. You might be feeling a little discontent. Don't be discouraged. It's hard to choose contentment. But here's the amazing thing, that we get that contentment through Christ who gives us strength. The strength comes from him. Let's choose contentment today. Let's just pray together. God, we are thankful that you are a God who gives us strength. That when we are weak, we are strong in you. I pray for every single person watching this today, that they would choose contentment, that they would choose to rejoice in you, that they would choose to hand the hard things over their cares and worries, that they would choose to focus on the good, on the best and not the hard things that are going on right now. And God, I thank you that when we do that, peace that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Jesus' name. Amen.